What's up YouTube? Back with another gun review. This time we're going to take a look at a purchase I just made. Uh, it's a uh, Sig Sauer. I know that's upside down. But this is their 1911. So let's take a look what's in the box. Uh, it looks like the oil little packet. I threw it out. I think it, it started to leak. So there's some oil around. Uh, anyway, owner's manual. Yeah, you can see it kind of soaked through right there. Uh, Six Sour Classic Line Purchase. 22 uh, Luger Conversion Kit. Uh, so, conversion slide with contrast sights, barrel assembly, with purchase of new pistols. So that's kind of cool. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, standard stuff, uh, SIG firearms, ammo, uh, sticker, and an Emperor Scorpion. Fastback carry edition, or better known as the Commander. Uh, as you can see, it's got VZ grips, so I went with the black sand because, you know, scorpions play in the sand. Um, they're thin grips, uh, so I think it's going to work out well for my purposes because I'm actually thinking about carrying this weapon as a concealed carry. Uh, right now I'm running the Glock 43, it's, you know, the stackable 9 mil. I think this is something that's going to give me, you know, obviously added extra firepower, but, uh, you know, something to scare away the bad guys, God forbid. Anyway, uh, so it's got a flat, dark earth, uh, two-tone. Get this out of the way. And skeletized trigger, you know, normal uh, 1911 safety features. Uh, I mean this gun is wet man. It just came out so I'm still wiping it down. Literally just picked it up today so I was looking around. I live in Illinois and nobody has this weapon so I went online to a dealer uh, in Wisconsin uh, and went up there, bought it. Um, I bought it online actually and then went up there and I cannot take a handgun across state lines so I had it transferred to a dealer down here and uh, just picked it up today. You know, I had to do my 72 hours and then pick it up. Um, so really nice uh, night sights. Um, you know, having obviously not shot this weapon. I have shot a 1911 before, um, which, you know, that will be in an upcoming review. Uh, but this uh, just really caught my eye. Now the regular Commander, uh, I'm sorry, Government 1911 uh, does come with a rail. That's the only drawback on this one, no rail. Um, but very nice grip, no problem. Um, it comes with two of these magazines, eight rounds. But, you know... I'm not really crazy about so I went with Wilson Combat and got some of their eight round magazines and you know fits like a glove I like the look of it you know the dark black um, yeah, I actually got two of them I already have two others uh, not in this style though, they're more of the flat bottom, so these are pretty nice uh, for my purposes. I also have a, a their 10 rounder, you know, which obviously extends way out. Um, I, I'll show that in another review, but uh, um, I think these will be good enough. But yeah, really liking this, uh, this handgun. If you want to take a look at the trigger. I mean, it's just, you know, smooth as can be. 
nice barrel, obviously uh, clear and safe. Got the back here. Um, so yeah, um, I think these grips will grow on me. Obviously these are the original grips, these hoe grips. I mean, these are nice, these piranha grips. Um, no complaints really, but like I said, I wanted that more, um, that slimmer profile so that it can, uh, you know, wrap around, um, a concealed, uh, carry, uh, much easier. Uh, what I've been doing, uh, so I did pick up a Winthrop holster inside the waistband. So I usually don't do inside the waistband, but, you know, a nice, uh, leather holster for a, uh, classic gun like this, I think is, uh, really nice. So right now I'm just kind of, this is what they tell you to do to break it in, shove it in with the plastic on just to protect the gun and it's going to uh, open up the leather uh, just pull it in and out. But yeah, so anyway, so that's about it. Um, let me know what you guys think of these grips um, down in the comments and uh, happy 4th of July.